uh, and that's a web-based tool to remove uh, lens distortion from images. To get there, you go to this address, uh, and uh, it opens up the demo. Uh, you'll see this uh, grid pattern, and immediately you can begin to mess with the settings here and distort that grid pattern in different ways to remove the lens distortion. Now, this takes a little bit of work, um, but one thing we've done is for cameras where this is often a problem, like the Mobius Action Cam, which a lot of people at Public Lab use, we've made presets. And what happens is actually, as you change these settings, it changes the URL. So anytime you see the URL up here, that's actually a preset for exactly these settings. If you go and reload the page with that, with that URL, it'll get you exactly back to these settings. Now, um, uh, what we're gonna do is actually drag in an image. Uh, I'm gonna make it in a new tab first, and you'll see that it's uh, pretty badly distorted. It's very, uh, you know, it has a round edge. It's a bulbous shape, just like we were talking about. That's sometimes called a barrel distortion. Now, if I drag that image onto the canvas, uh, you'll see that the preset that we chose for the Mobius Action Cam is removed, uh, has removed most of that. It's pretty flat. This is especially useful for aerial photos pointed straight downwards if you want to make a map on, say, map meter. Uh, notice that the previous image was placed below, and you can click on that to open it up or download it. And that's really useful just so that um, you can keep dragging images from a Mobius action camera onto this page and uh, process a whole bunch of them. We have one of these cheap GoPro clones as a preset down here as well. And if you, um, if you come up with a setting for your own um, camera that other, you think other people could use, please send them in. There's an address here to do that, and we'll add presets as we go. The best way to do that for a new camera is take a picture uh, of, a, of a grid and mess with this, and you get the permalink, as I said, for the exact presets, and then that's the URL you'll want to send in uh, when you're submitting new presets for new cameras. Uh, the last thing I'll mention is that when you do this, it crops the edges of the image, and that's because in order to remove the distortion, it uh, distorts the image sort of in reverse, and then these corners are stuck out there so we chop them off using this scale bar, uh, and that's automatically done in the preset, but just a note you do lose some of the corners of your image. That's it for now. Uh, leave your comments, please, and uh, you know, uh, thanks very much, and help each other out, please, uh, in using this fairly new tool, and we hope to refine it as we go. Thanks.